Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidForums.net, and today I have a ROM review. This is CyanogenMod 10 for the Droid Razor HD Developer Edition. So in order to install this, you'll need to have your device unlocked, rooted, and you'll need custom recovery installed. I'll have a link in the description uh, on how you can do all of the above. This ROM was created by Hashcode and DHacker. This ROM has quite a few bugs, but they are also developing versions for SafeStrap on the consumer model that are a little more stable. Either way, they're all unofficial for now. I'm sure as soon as we get the actual Jelly Bean source from Motorola, the official source, we'll be able to hack away at some of these bugs. But for now, I'll just kind of, that's the first thing I'll do is kind of go over the bugs. In my opinion, this is not a daily driver yet, but it is a very good first step because we do have CyanogenMod 10 on the developer edition. And like I said, those bugs can be worked out, but you'll see right up top, it, it tells me that I'm roaming. So it's not showing any 3G or 4G service. I can make calls, I can send text, uh, I can surf the internet. Like if we go here and you see it's pretty slow. Um, sometimes I'll get 3G speeds, sometimes I'll get 4G speeds, sometimes I will get uh, 1X speeds. So it really all depends. See, I'm downloading speedtest.net. That's going pretty slow right now. So it seems to be on 3G or either 1X right now, but I don't know because it's telling me that I'm roaming. Um, but we do have internet access, so there is data, uh, so that actually is a big huge plus because like I said, this is totally unofficial and it is in beta for now. Uh, we'll go to the camera. And that should force close as soon as we open it, and it does. So the camera and the camcorder are not working here. Like I said, the phone, text, data, those are all working. No 4G, no camera. And you see there's some screen flickering there as well, so that that's another little bug. It does come with Apollo music application. It comes with the DSP manager, and it does come with the CyanogenMod 10 file manager, the gallery. Those all are working, and of course the torch is working. Uh, you do have super user access, so root access is working. If we go into the settings, and we go into the launcher settings, uh, we have a few things that we can do on our home screen here. We can remove the search bar, and we can resize any widget, just like in CyanogenMod 10. That's all working there. Um, let's see. Lock screen settings are all working as well. So we can choose battery status to always on. We can turn on our weather widget and that will work. We can change our slider shortcuts. That's going to work as well. And we'll save that. Now if we go back to our lock screen, we'll have our weather widgets, our clock, our charging, and we'll have our new app that we can open up to. If we go back and back again, we have themes. Now the themes do work. You can grab these off the Play Store to search for any signage in my 10 or AOKP themes and they will work in this ROM. All you have to do is click apply after they're installed. If we go to system, there's some settings here as well. Status bar settings. You can show clock or remove clock and that'll work on the fly. Battery status style, we can go to percentage and that'll change that on the fly. Signal status style, you can go with text or hide that all together. Let's see, the text would probably be a little better than the icon because all we're getting is the roaming icon for now. Um, you can also show the notification count as well. So when you get your emails in, it'll show you how many emails that you do have. Notification drawer. Uh, widget buttons, you can select your widget buttons here. So there's a, a button for LTE, for brightness, airplane mode, all the normal buttons that you would expect to be in CyanogenMod are all there. We have widget button order, you can change the order there. Wallpapers and font size, power menu is there, that would be whatever you press and hold the power button, there's your power menu, it comes with all the reboot options, it'll reboot you into recovery. So we have some navigation bar customizations here. We can add a button or remove a button. Um, we can long press any button to move its arrangement there. And to restore it to default, you can just tap the restore button and that's going to restore it back to default. And then you can lock whatever your configuration is as well. So we'll go back. And that's about it for the customization options. We'll run into the about phone here and see what we're working with. It is signage and mod. 
Uh, there's 4.1.2, you have your updates there, and it shows you the build number. There is a power option, the performance option here, but you cannot overclock. If you want a processor, there's no overclocking here, but you can add a CPU governor. And that's pretty much it. We do have some custom wallpapers for CyanogenMod 10. And we can reboot the phone to show you guys the boot animation. But guys, that has been CyanogenMod 10 on the Razer HD Developer Edition. Like I said, it is in beta, so there are quite a few bugs, but hopefully this will be usable pretty soon. Um, if you need to know how to install this, I'll have the link in the description of how to install CyanogenMod 10 on the Razer HD Developer Edition. If this has helped you in any way, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the forums.